Okay. All right, let's talk about the last quarterfinal match. Um, the Russians, the host. Nobody also thought the Russians would get this far. But uh, penalties, very cruel way uh, to uh, decide the winner of a game. So they edge past the Spaniards, but they have a chance uh, against another team that got to this stage via penalties. Uh, but um, I think it might just be the end of the road for the Russians. This is about the, the most open um, a match in the, in the, in the quarterfinals, the Russia versus uh, Croatia uh, game. The Russians, the least ranked team coming to the World Cup. They were ranked 70, you no know, coming to the World Cup. Uh, perhaps, maybe if they, not, if they didn't host this World Cup, they wouldn't have even played the World Cup in At the first all. place. So they are here, and they know, I, I, I recall, I think it was the second game they, they played, I told somebody that, hey, if you play in front of your wife, your kids, your girlfriend, your president, I mean, it gives you a different feel. That's what, the, that's what these Russians are enjoying. They're playing back at home. Nobody saw them come this far. Nobody mm -hmm. gave them a chance. And with, with that, I think they, they were more relaxed because the expectations, the expectations were very low from they, the start. Yeah, the expectations were not even there in the first place. So let's just go out there, walk, do what we need to do. Any, uh, um, whatever tactics, employ whatever tactics we need to employ to get the result. I mean, we saw a different Russian team against the Spanish. They knew they can't match the Spanish team, man for man, ball for ball, tiki taka for tiki taka. They just sat back and waited for the, for the team to come. Work for this draw. Penalties you can take, and Akin Five uh, took them to the quarterfinals. And I, I, I think they have some, you know, the spring in their step, playing against this Croatian team. Good ball carriers, good ball players. Luka Modric, Mandzukic has been fantastic in this competition. Perisic, everybody, every one of them. Um, the, yes, a bit of um, a struggle getting to this um, via penalties uh, when Kasper Schmeichel decided to be inspired on the night. Mm -hmm. But they have a Subosic in, the, in, 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 in goal too. Who, who did his the, job too? Who did his job? Who needed to save when he had to save to bring them this far? Um, so far, the Croatians already celebrating this team. Um, the one of the players the other day was talking about the kind of feedback they're getting from home. Mm -hmm. People, the kind of national regeneration they're giving their uh, countrymen. People talk about it, what people say about them and all of that. I think they are relaxed. So this, for me, is about the most open fixture in this, um, in, in, in this time. All right, you, you look at the Croatians, you, you want to believe that bookmakers feel that they have, they have an edge. Mm. And if you can call, even though you still say it's an open game, if you can call anybody favorite... They yeah. still tilt yeah. towards yeah. Uh, the Croatians. Mm. Some people are already talking about the 98 team, that if there's ever a Croatian team that could equal or surpass what uh, da Davos Suka and the rest did in 98, it's probably uh, this squad. So you, you look at this game tomorrow, you think probably the, the 12th man is what they have to fear. Because if this game was not played in Russia, you wouldn't even call it an open game. Mm. But... Aside the 12th man, uh, you think if, if the Croatians have the composure, they should be able to win this game? Yeah, they, they should be able. I mean, clearly, if you look at um, the odds the bookmakers are placing, they are the favorite to go into this game. Yeah. Uh, nobody, like, told you about the Russian, the least ranked team. And they have the momentum going for them. The fans are. The, the Rockers fans, the noise that that stadium will generate in terms of, you know, fans urging the team forward. And, I mean, this is a team that the expectations is that it didn't even exist. Nobody saw them coming this far. So for, for, for Croatia, they need to be patient. Mm -hmm. They need to be very, very patient with this, uh, with, uh, this um, Russian team in terms of um, um, if you decide to say, so, okay, let's go full blast, full hog, we're better than them, we'll play. Hey, these guys didn't go back fire. They didn't buy the ticket to come play in the in the quarterfinals. They walked their way. They got the result that took them here. That means they have something going for them. And if you look at the 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 general play of the this Russian team, they had players who were making their debut at the World Cup, scoring their first goal for the national team at the World Cup. So these guys have so much to prove in terms of, they are so relaxed, you're not expecting me to come this far. And so it, that's, that's why this game is a bit tricky for, it will be a very, very tricky game. I think the, 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 the Croatians understand this, you know, coming to this game. And so they'll have to employ their attacks, their everything, <laughs> everything to really go well. Okay. Uh, Colo Colombia. Colombia. They reach, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they didn't expect that the journey would end uh, this oh, early. Uh, they had a good team, gave a good account of themselves. And you, you can understand the fans, I mean, celebrate, celebrated them uh, because they played well. Mm. They played well. Uh, if you lose on penalties, I mean, mm. anybody can understand that. Mm. 
I mean, you, you got to a point where it was anybody's game. Mm. No, I mean, what do you say about teams, you know, leaving, leaving it all on the field of play? This was a team that was on the back foot for most part. Got the equalizer at the death. Played the extra time. Uh, at that point, it was anybody's game. Penalties will go either way. I, I think the players, the fans should be proud of you know, the performance of this team at the World Cup. They might not have won it. They might not have reached the quarterfinal stage. But I think this team... Give them credit. They worked. Some accolades. They worked. They um, worked. I'm missing the likes of Hamas Rodriguez coming, coming to the competition. I think um, the reception they get. I'm, I'm, they, I'm sure the players will even be surprised with the number of fans that turned out to come welcome them to the Japanese when they go home too. They got the same, same uh, kind of reception. I mean, this is the World Cup. You can't get to the second round of the World Cup. Yes, at the end of the ultimately only one team will win it. Yeah. But if you put in that effort that you really need to get the results, leave it on the plate. The fans see these things and they appreciate it. Uh, let's talk about FIFA. That's going to be our parting shot uh, on the show uh, tonight. Uh, the World Football Governing Body uh, inviting uh, these young lads, uh, a football team in Thailand that, uh, 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 I mean, a lot of effort is going into trying to rescue these boys mm. and their coach uh, right now. And the World Football Governing Body is saying, look, once the rescue uh, is done, we are inviting you guys, the spirit of the game, come and watch the FIFA uh, World Cup final. Liverpool manager as well, Jurgen Klopp also. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of well wishes, a lot of uh, goodwill. Uh, these people are enjoying. The, the whole world uh, hoping that this uh, boys and their coach uh, will be returned. They, they spent, I think, more than 11 days uh, since they, uh, this unfortunate uh, incident. It took a while before mm -hmm. they were even them. discovered, located. Uh, but... And we also hear that one of the guys the trying to rescue, rescue these boys uh, lost. So we're, we're hoping that before the final, mm. they get rescued and they'll be able to see uh, the final uh, as well. Alfred, I want to thank you uh, for your time on the show today. It's been that nice having mine. you. mine. Always um, hear me. All right. I want to thank you as well, allowing us to be a part of your day. Uh, we're going to do this again next week. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Bye-bye now.